Good evening, everyone, and we are live for another awesome session of Faith Talk. So, Faith Talk in February has been absolutely amazing. Um, we started off with a bang, and we are about to end Faith Talk in February with a bang as well. And tonight, I am so happy to have with me Travis Bodie. Um, some of you may have seen him on Facebook. Um, I'm sure he's been doing a lot of work out there with this amazing saxophone. And of course, I'm gonna get deep into it of how I got to meet Travis. <laughs> and it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing story, how I, how I found him. And ever since, I've never let him go. Um, he has assisted me with blessing special people in my life with this saxophone and with this gift that he has. Of course, being the person that I am, I wanted to dig deep into it and one day I reached out to him and I was like, I know it's more to it than this saxophone. Like, you just didn't pick up a saxophone, but we're gonna get into that. And so, and also I wanna thank my behind the scenes guests. Give yourselves a round of applause. I actually have people here with me tonight and they're so excited to um, see Travis on the saxophone tonight and I know that you are as well. And so Travis, welcome to Faith Talk. Yes, it's so good to have you here. So Travis, let's get right into it. Um, before I share how I met you, how did you start off? Take us way back to little Travis, because I think you were telling me that you, you were not interested in no saxophone. No. Right, so take us back to little Travis. Okay, uh, first of all, my instrument was the drums. The drum set. I used to play for churches and stuff like that. And for, I, no, pots and pans. Pots and pans. You played with pots and pans. Yeah, no, that's, what, that's what I want to do. I want to go okay. way back. Yeah, okay. right. way back. And I used to like my mom go shopping for pots and pans. Like, I had to pick my tone. Yeah. So I'd be like, you know, you know, get the big one. You know, you like cook sauce, so get the big one. <laughs> so all I'm saying is now, just for me to play drums. Mm -hmm. So it started off finding tunes and making my own little beats and, you know, then find myself sitting on a real drum set, little churches and you know, stuff like that. Then you know when you go to school, everyone have the music teacher. So I remember the teacher going around the class and said that, okay, when I point at you or call your name, call an instrument. Right. Then I'm gonna write it down. So you know me sitting in the back, so I was the last one, or second or the last. I say drums. He say no. Everyone then take the drums. So, play the <laughs> so he didn't give you the opportunity. No, yeah, but yeah. he asked you to, to go on the instrument. Yeah, you know he said all oh the drums God. then take up saxophone. Boom. Next. Okay. See you <laughs> next class. <laughs> right. So I said okay, you know what? Let me just try it out. And I say go with me. I find my random drums. You know. I just try to speak someone in class to try to take them. Yes. Yes. But the first instrument with the drums was the recorder. And I didn't know that the recorder was so similar to the saxophone. Wow. So when he said that now, he got my ear, I'm listening now. Yes. So he said, all you gotta do is transpose the notes on the saxophone the way you play the recorder. Right. I said, can not be that easy? Oh. So, you know, Twinkle Twinkle is one of the first songs I say. Mm -hmm. I was a master at Twinkle Twinkle. Don't get a DJ Twinkle Twinkle and stuff. Right. I used to rock that. Right. So I find myself playing the saxophone. The first song was Twinkle Twinkle and As the Devil. Never mm -hmm. forget that. Yes. And when I hold the saxophone, I say, and this feel good. You know? <laughs> right. You're falling in love. Right. I fall right. in love. Right. The, the way it's shaped and yes. how I hold it. I was like, and it's comfortable, yes. you know? And with me knowing songs, I, I, I was already ahead of the class. Mm. So all the fundamentals, I already know. So now it was a challenge for me now. I found I was challenging, my, challenging myself and didn't even know. So as the time going on, I find myself, you know what? Spending more time with it. Mm. And finding myself actually playing the assembly, special assemblies, the national land term, and I was like, well, I, I think I have something here. Wow. You know? But then I let it go for a while, like fast forward, I didn't know 
and did a work for you now. Yeah. But hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Do you play? Yeah. yeah I, I I just want to know. Most musicians play by air. Do you play by air, or if you, you learn music first? Okay, I learned music first. Okay. But I found out I was correcting my teachers a lot. Ooh. So that's when I I said to myself. Everything is saying you're right. Let me follow my air now. Mm. You know, so I start following my air and I take and I'm, it just turns out habit, you know? Yes. And they tell the music teacher say, Travis, now what you think about that? <laughs> but before oh, wow. he say, let's do it, right. you always have something to say, now what, what you think? Right. I said, oh, that's the best you got, you can do that. You can, wow. you can go with you, you know? Yes. But, because I always used to, in music, I always used to feel like music never complete. Because you can always remix, remix or song. Yes. You know, so I feel like, why this person should put an end in music? Or how can someone tell me this how music supposed to be sound? You know, or this how music goes. No one knows music. Music is is forever. Wow. It's like the ocean. Yeah. It just just keeps you going. Know, you wow. can add on the music, but you can never complete the music. Yes. You know, a music never ends. It's just that the artist tired. You know, <laughs> That's it, oh, because oh, it never ends. It never ends. Wow. Because I could take that artist song and add on to that song. I could take that and add on to that. And, you know, yeah, so, right. Right. so when I find out that fundamental first, it, okay, it all starts with mine. Yes. This thing we did is a powerful thing. It is. So I used to look at myself as a saxophone. I, I can tell you the truth, everything was just because I used to like how it feel. And I didn't know this was brushing me and, you know, behind tuning me. Yes, you know? yes. And I put it I put it down for a while. Start to work, you know, mm -hmm. once once work harder you feel like man, I say, I gotta make this money man, you know. Mm -hmm. The socks and you make it on my you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So back to school again, I remember my mom said this thing. You want a car so bad, you come up with half, and I'll pay half. It's okay. My socks is on. Help you, you know? yes. So my teacher was getting married. She said, Travis, I remember hearing you playing Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Mm. And I said, yeah. She said, I want you to play it in my room. I said, okay. So I called to my music teacher. I said, hey, I got our first gig. Yes, you know, you like, you know, I, I, yeah, like, right. I said, that's why I got our first kid. Right. And that's when he started breaking it down to me. So, okay, you, you enter it now in that different field. He said, the see no bond, you know, the see no bond class now. You enter it with the field where this is business now, you know? And by him saying that, I was like, oh, okay, this business now. You know, I just want to be happy and play. Yes. Now, you telling me now what, what now I got up. You know, because music is to have fun. I want just have fun. And it's like, it's good to have fun, but you still got to sustain yourself and, mm -hmm. you know. So, we went there, we do a couple gigs, and the news spread about that. I had a little side, little gigs doing school now, playing a little wedding here, a little parties there. Mm -hmm. Well, before you know it, I had more than half of the car. Wow. You know, and I just save up. I mean, I had extra to buy my little hook caps and my little air freshener. From the yeah, saxophone. Yeah, yeah, from the saxophone. And, and that's what I said, you know what? Everyone used to say, suppose something happened to me, what I could fall back on. Yes. Because everyone said, you gotta have a trade and you gotta have something hands on. Because you never know. That's right. And I always used to say, you know what? Push come to shove, I have my socks. I always used to say that growing up. And believe it or not, that used to help me make decisions in, in work areas. Like when I feel like, hey, this thing ain't fair, just by the thought of being no one, I, listen, you have a gift. Yeah. If you're uncomfortable, stand up for yourself because you have something to fall back on. So I used to be like, that ain't fair. I don't think we should do that. There's, there's, I, I'm not going to do it. So it, it used to give me courage because I, I was comfortable to say that, hey, I got something. You know what it was? I wanted an excuse to something to push me back that way. Right. You know, but you know when you work in, you'd be like, that's a guarantee. I, I was working. It was stability. Yeah. It was certainty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I was working at Atlantis for six, I talk long. 
That's fine. Okay. This, oh, this, okay, everybody. Travis has asked me if he's talking long. No, this is your show. And the people are enjoying you. I'm reading the comments yeah, as they're, yeah, they're coming in. Yeah. And I worked at Atlantis. I was a bartender there. Okay. Six years. And how I was discovered, too, during Atlantis, I had a special um, guest given. He said, listen, Travis, everyone, I've been here four years now. Everyone has seen the Happy Birthday song. Now he said, don't get me wrong, which is nice. I just want, so I just want to do something different, you know? Yes. I said, you know what? Bring her here tomorrow at the same station at the same time. Wow. He said, I said, listen to me. Bring her here tomorrow, same station, same time. Let the hostess know you're coming to me. So I went to the party store, you know, get the balloons, blow them up. Get the little rose petal, just so yes. it is. Yes. And he thought that was it. He gave me the thumbs up, you know? But he didn't know when the dessert come on, I was going to play the sax. Ooh. Now, this went, this went all of me was hot back yes, then. Yes, yes, yes. Fresh of the market, yes, all of me. All of me. Everywhere you go, your head on yes, top, you know? Yes, yes. So, no time for the play now. So, I told my bar back, I said, hey, when you see me come on, turn the lights down a little bit. Now, this is in the whole restaurant now. Mm. I said, turn the lights down just a little bit. You know, because I wanted to set that mood. And he did trust me, you know? Yeah. He trust me. And I you said, know, you know Sir Travis and trust. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I said, he didn't trust me. Right. And for someone to trust you, you can't take that for granted. You're right. Because they don't know what you could do. That's almost like, like, yeah, my life is, you know what I mean? Because you can make me or break me. So right. for someone to trust you. Yes. And they going on like, I don't know what could happen. That's a edgy feeling. Yes. So he came, he sat down, he thought that was it. Then the dessert came out. And I came like five seconds right in the back of the dessert. And when I played all of me, the noise in the restaurant, listen, you could have, a pin drop, you hear that all the time, that's a joke. You could have heard people walking on the second floor. Wow. How quiet it was. All of the attention listen, was on the Listen, it was sacks. so... I said to myself, I get fired after this. <laughs> You're right. No, I, no, that's what I you, said. Yes. I said, I changed the whole atmosphere, atmosphere in the yes, restaurant. Yes. And to this day, my co-workers, my, well, my ex-co-workers yes. still talk about that. Wow. And I said, you know what? Wow. This, this is my last day here. Let me just go with the bank. The lights gone. He turned the lights down so dim. It like, was your last day. Yeah, it's and like, And you've gone off for the bank. <laughs> listen, I thought it was my last day to what, right. to what I planned. Okay. So we did it. Everything, the crowd went crazy. Wow. Like, and guess what? At the time, the VP was in there. I didn't even know. And he said, bring that saxophone to me, please. So they came to me and they said, hey, so and so on, see you. I was like, see, I tell you, this is my last day. Oh you know, my like, God. Well, I was like, Fire Why today. Do that, man, yes. You know? So I said, you know what? Just go. I go on there. He said, like, as you playing the saxophone now? And he, he ain't even he, he eating while he talking to me. He said, as you playing the saxophone now? I read up. And he's like, I said, yeah. He said, like, let me tell you something, sir. What are you doing here? Wow. Just like that. Then I was like, okay, I'm getting fired. So a little confidence come back. I said, yes. you know. Yes. You got to, you know, make things happen. And mm -hmm. he said, give me your card. At the time, all my cars, my card was just my car. I said, come away back. Listen, I never ran so fast to the parking lot. <laughs> I didn't want to write nothing on no paper. Yes, now. you wanted to I, give I that said to card. myself, yes. I'd rather him get the card late, but he get a card. That's right. Then they get it in a paper napkin. Mm -hmm. Some people have asked you to see how far you take your craft. You're like, right. These You're little right. stuff I learned. You are Listen, right. I ran so security was waiting back for me because they really thought I'd take something. He said, what, 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 what? I said, we're going for a car. He said, when you come back, let me, need, we need to see you. I said, no well, problem. Because yes. I just go into the parking lot, came back with the car. Wow. And he's like, I'm going to try you out Friday. He didn't say, what's Friday now? I said, okay, no problem. Friday gone. And next Friday gone. I'm losing faith now. Yes. The third Friday, he called my restaurant and said, I need Mr. Bodie off, please, if he's working. Wow. I want to try it on. It was the wine swirl. 
Wow. The Atlantis Wine Swerve was my first gig. He put me on. And ever since, straight up to now, I still play that. You still play and at I the still, Wine Swerve? And I still because play Because of the VP. The VP here. Sitting me. down and hearing you. Oh, my God. Are yeah. you listening to this? And yeah. that's the day you thought it was your last day. That's why I thought it was my last day. In a bad way. I thought it's like, what? Bad <laughs> like, what you doing? Turning off the lead on that kind of way? Yes. People eating Like you there. shutting the place yeah, down. Yeah, shutting the place yes. down. Write them up. You don't get them out yes. of here. That's, yes. that's what I was thinking. Wow. But it, that actually was... The start of my last day, of my journey and my... So your journey and purpose with listen. this saxophone. And, you know, for you all that don't know Travis, um, and that's why I, I placed the topic, love with a saxophone. I mean, because, <laughs> you know, when Travis plays a saxophone, you can see the passion. You can see the love. He's very, you know, sensitive. And, you know, with this, with this device and, <laughs> you know, without even talking to him, he said it. He said the first time he held the saxophone, it just felt so good mm -hmm. in his hand. But I just want to share quickly before I let uh, Travis talk to you about, you know, people who are, uh, you know, uncertain about leaving stability, because this is what we're talking about now. He left stability, which was mm -hmm. a job. Mm -hmm. You know you was getting paid mm -hmm. to not knowing what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But life is with the saxophone right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I happened to go to the food store one day and... Um, it was my father's birthday the following day, which was a Sunday. And I saw this guy with, I didn't see the saxophone. I just saw this table and these cards were on the table. And I looked at it, you know, I was curious. And so I said, you play music? And he said, I do. Um, I play the saxophone. So I, I took a card and he was like, you know, and I play X, Y, Z and all of that. So I said, you play jazz music? Oh my God, I love jazz. And so he was like, yeah, I do. So I looked at him and I was like, if I ask you to play for me tomorrow, would you play? So he was like, Yes, I would play. So, you know, I took the card and I said, anyway, I'm going to call you. And I went inside and I told my mom, I said, mom, you know, something ain't right. This guy out there, give me a card. And he was like, he can play tomorrow for daddy. <laughs> so mommy was like, what's the problem? I said, no, something ain't right. Okay, I didn't, I didn't hear his music, but I think I bought a CD. Yes, you did. I bought a CD. And when I, as I was driving home, uh, my daughter and I was in the car and I started playing. I was like, oh my God, I don't believe it. Is this man really playing the saxophone? Mm -hmm. Anyway, my father's such a peculiar guy. <laughs> I decided to hook up with Bodhi and I called him on Sunday morning mm -hmm. and I said, I want you to come. Please come. And he and I, we dealt um, on the outside. And I said, so what you going to play? Because I didn't give you a song. And he's going to ask me, could you trust me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even know you, but you want me to trust you. He was like, just, just leave it to me, okay? I promise you. I will set the mood. And what I liked was Bodhi came in the back. He looked at the atmosphere. Uh, he saw my father. He just walked around, and he knew exactly what to play. My father sat down, and for the first time, I've, I saw my father smile, yeah. and he just crossed his leg. And my mom was even just shuffling. Yeah. You remember that, yeah, buddy? Yeah. She was shuffling around him, and it was so, 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 so beautiful. But, you know, if Bodie tells you to trust him, you could trust yeah. him. Because we had another episode um, with my sister. So sorry, yeah. I gave him a song this time, and he came. And he said, oh, my God, I forgot the device because I thought we were playing inside. Yeah, and yeah. I said, no, Bodie, I told you we was outside. And he said, could you trust me? I said, you know what? <laughs> I can leave this one up to you, Bodie. Yeah. But if you mess me up, because I planned this nice event. And trust me, oh, my God, I gave Bodie full description. I mean, and she cried mm -hmm. from start to finish. To finish. Yeah. And the guests were like, Bodie, question. How do you all a note so long? Like, oh my God, Bodhi. That's a, that's a technique. Oh my God. Like the fellas in the back, Bernard, excuse yeah. me, but the fellas in the back was like, <laughs> I ain't ever letting this dude play for my woman. I mean, oh my God. But how do you all a, a note so long? I be breathing the same time now. Are you? Yeah. Unbelievable. It's a circular breathing. It does not. It's circular breathing. No, but that's talent. Yeah. Because everybody, oh my God. Christoph, you ever saw that before? Like, he holds a note like so long. Like, I know you play the piano, but. The long long that's what I, well, <laughs> Bodhi uses his lungs. Oh my God. But if you all have never experienced Bodhi before, you're definitely going to experience him tonight. But just before we get into that, I'm going to let him talk about, you know, leaving certainty for uncertainty. You know, mm. You didn't know where the road was going to take mm. you, 
um, but you left. Mm -hmm. You left your full-time employment mm -hmm. to get into just loving the saxophone. Yeah. How long have you left work, and how has it been since you gave up certainty? Um, going on five years now. Five years. You left your job. Mm -hmm. Five years, and I regret one day. You can't. Oh, my God. I ain't regret. Listen. It's really, uh, it's really, it's, it's a true <laughs> saying when the Bible says, you know, your gift will make room, room for, for you. Room. This is definitely doing that. Listen, when he said that, he didn't, Rome could be anything. You're right. Rome could be any space. You're right. Because I always used to say, what Rome is? You can separate a Rome. You can move and extend a Rome. Yes. So my Rome is being booked and have like given me a chance to pick events I want to go to. You, you understand? A lot I of people understand. can't do that. No, I understand. I, I can say, you know what? Do I want to play Kamala Miki or on this island? Because when you double book, he give you an option. Yes. More than you can handle. Yes, yes. You understand? So yes. he's saying now, where you want to go? Wow. And that's room. That's room to me, cause when if I play the that opening up another another door, door. another room. Yes, yes. You understand? And a lot of people listen. First of all, you have to be your big. You gotta be your biggest fan first. You're right. You're right. You gotta love your product first. Yes. You gotta sell your own product first. Yes. You understand? You just can't sit down. It ain't easy now, but that's how you know if you have love for it. If you know you out there, mm -hmm. and you know you ain't feeling the extra, some we human. Sometimes we get it. Man, listen, I sell a season, I ain't get one sell. Have you ever uh, felt like that? I mean, in the five years, have you ever felt like like I gotta put this on the side? I gotta get back into the work for you. Oh no. Are you serious? Yeah, work for you. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm. I kid you not. Is that good? Now, now the first. See, I, I wanted to say the story. Yes. Okay. I was on vacation. Mm -hmm. That's how I, this the, this the official over. I was on vacation and I said to myself, I'm on vacation and I'm going to live my dream during vacation. Two weeks. I said, on my vacation, I'm a saxophonist. Yes. I, I said my vacation. I, I X out Atlantis. I, I, I X out working there. What I did was I went to Harbor Island mm -hmm. and I carried my equipment, my socks. I went to the hotels and I said, well, I, I was visiting my sister, so it was like a win-win situation. So I had a place to stay, transportation, you know? See, but you got to use stuff like that. You're right. You know? Yeah. So... I went to all the resorts, and I said, listen, I'm a saxophonist, and this was around Valentine, too. Mm. And I would like to give you an hour free. Wow. And three hotels take that offer. And I had the, okay, organize the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I said to myself, the first hotel bite, I'll do business. So I went, set up. I play. And when I said, thank you so much for listening, people said, no, where are you going? Yes. So the manager looking at me like, I said, well, that's my hour now. You they wanna, wanted now more. You wanna, you wanna do some business? That's it. Listen, yeah. You gotta sell yourself. I stayed uh -huh. to this particular hotel for six days. Wow. They gave me my room. Uh -huh. I had my own golf cart. I had my own, I, every, everything was paid for just to play the saxophone just to play and i remember going to the boat on uh, covering up my speaker with the garbage bag so it wouldn't get wet and i and i right here i i remember myself on the boat and i smile and i said look what i'm doing eh? i was like wow so i called my sister mm -hmm. i said listen come over harbor island she's like what i said get a room yes she's like what Big i said <laughs> i was like they jump on it. And I yes. said, I, I play in the so-and-so after the six days. So the, the fourth day, I was playing. The lady came to me and said that, 
Hi, my client love you. I said, okay, that's fine. You know, like, like I, I'm testing the waters of now. Course. You know, this is my first time, so I'm just. I said, okay, no problem. Said she wants you for a wedding. I said, no problem. Said we'll talk afterwards, wow. right? So while we while we was talking, the lady came up and said, I'm sorry, she taking too long. I want you. She said, I want you. I want you to play for my wedding. It's in the next couple of days. We didn't have everything planned, but we can squeeze you in. My God. Right? Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, now nah, my sister is my, she, I tell her, she's giving me advice. Because, you know, she always gave me advice. Say, listen, that's what the brother. So I give her my number, and I said, no, call me, and we'll talk about the prices and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So now, we on the, we on the island now, my day off now. We on the mainland now, right now. My phone ring. I answer it. She's like, hi. I always say, hello. She said, this is so-and-so from the resort, and we just want to know your pricing and stuff like that. Now, at this time, I said, okay, you got work in the next couple of days. No, relax. So I give her an outrageous price. Because I don't want to, don't forget now, I live in my dream. Yes. So I can't say, I can't do it because I got to go back to work. I said, no. Let me give her a price where she could be like, oh, I'm sorry, we, we, we can't, that's not our budget. You know? Yeah. When I go back to work. So she said, ooh, okay. You give you give me a call back. I said, they ain't gonna call me. They ain't gonna call me. So we riding back. <laughs> right. You know? The next day, the lady said that, can you send your bank information? Wow. My sister's like, Read. Yeah. Yes. I said, the, 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 the mumbling and all that uh -huh. kind of stuff. She's like, read, read, read. And, uh -huh. and my sister said, take your time. So I sent her my information. Uh -huh. Right? What, what I did, I sent her my sister information because, you know, the bank over there only limited. I, I had to drive all the way down. Yeah. Honest, so yeah. Just to make sure, listen, uh -huh. the stuff is real. Uh -huh. And the next, in a few, like, less than three hours, that deposit was there. They meant business. I, I say to myself, I say, listen, I ain't going back to work. I tell my sister, she laugh. I call work and I told my boss, I say, I think I resigned. He laughed. You did? Mm -hmm. I seriously, he laughed. He say, he say, listen, stop playing, man. If you need to go get a six lip, go get one yeah. and bring it in. And I was, I was like, anyway, my name was on a schedule for two weeks. Before they realized I wasn't coming back. You wasn't back. coming back. People was calling me. Oh my God. Hey, we could switch days. I said, but you go up any day you see there. <laughs> because I didn't believe I you. I didn't on. believe me. <laughs> and I never going back. I said to myself, if I could find one person like that a month. Wow. I said, if I could find, I said, if this per I said, there's more people like that out there. And let me tell you something. From then, I was on my way up. Yeah, but and I just I mean, and I just you know find my way to say you know what. I learned the art. I learned it's like it's certain things you gotta learn. Like working when you when you when you you gotta be sure that's what you wanna do. It ain't easy. Some people just make it look like it's a walk in the park. Yeah. But it's easy if you believe in yourself. Amen. If you believe in yourself, listen, yeah, you will be like, well, it, sometimes when I play, I feel like. Like, why they pay? Like, I love it so much. I'd be like, I, I pay, I pay to do what I love. Yes, but that's what you love. Yes, to do. yes, yes, you know? yes, yes. So, but that guiltiness that passed me long. Of that. course, <laughs> <laughs> of course. You know, you of know. Course. But I, I try to tell people, listen. If you have a dream, yes. I learned uh, the food menu. I learned the drink menu for Atlantis by heart. I want that for them. I said, why can't I make my CDs and go out there and yes. mark my brand? Yes. You yes. understand what I'm saying? I, I would you. I said, I learned the menu. Okay, we do this. We serve this with fluently. By heart. By heart. Yes. And I said, if I could put half of that in my work, you know how my work would be? My craft wow. would be? Wow. Wow. So when, when people see me out there doing my CDs, a lot of people say, oh, he probably, he probably selling DVDs. Mm-hmm. But when they hear that, hey, this is my album I'm selling, everything changed. Wow. See, you, you, can't, you can't let people, you can't stop 
what you're doing, what people think, like, that's because the way they think of you. You're right. That's what stop a lot of people, you know. You're right. By saying, I wonder what they will think. Yes. You are absolutely correct. Listen, if, if you if you let that play with your mind, you will never get nowhere. No, but you are absolutely correct. You and can't. you know, how I know it is so true. <laughs> I always share the story on Fate Talk. I remember when, you know, the Lord told me to begin this show. And I was like, oh my God, I can't do this. Like, who's going to watch me? Mm. Like, I, I started to get caught up into... What's going to happen? Nobody's going to come on. And can I tell you, the first time I went live, not a soul came on to watch me. I was so discouraged. Mm. I was like, I'm not going back. Like, I said about two words, and I said, I said, Lord, I feel like a fool. Mm. There's <laughs> nobody here, and I'm just talking. I, I shut it down, and I heard the Lord say again, you turn that back on, and you begin to talk. And I remember I started to talk and I just started talking about everything, you know, my life, um, the, the trials that I had and everything. And then I look, one person popped up. I started to smile. <laughs> and then another person popped mm -hmm. up. I started to smile. Five people were there. And I was like, oh, my God. And they were like, come back tomorrow. And like, we just started having a dialogue, just like how we're doing it right now. And I remember when I came off of that, the Lord said to me, you cannot be caught up on who's watching. Mm -hmm. You cannot, if you get caught up on who's watching, you're never going to make it mm -hmm. anywhere mm -hmm. because now you're concerned about who's watching. Um, you want to be able to control something. You know, I absolutely have no control over this. So mm -hmm. I know what you're talking mm -hmm. about because, you know, you could feel discouraged. It's not easy. And, you know, time passed and passed and passed. I've never promoted fake talk. I've never shared with anyone that I even do a show. I know that when I told you mm -hmm. I wanted you to go on mm -hmm. my show, I know you was like, what is she talking about? Because I didn't know she had... No, I don't showcase that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the show is the Lord's show. I believe that the show is about purpose. It's about faith and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And just like you're saying, you mm -hmm. got into something not worrying about the naysayers, not worrying about what people were saying. Mm -hmm. And look at you today. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely amazing. You got to dream big. Yeah. And you got to believe in your dreams. Yep. Like, I never thought in a million years. I'll be honest, I'm very shy. Yeah. I, I'm not coming across as a shy person, right? I am extremely shy. Um, but I believe that my work, my permanent work, has prepared me to do something like mm. this because I've never been about this. I don't even know who's watching me, and I'm mm. like, oh, my God. But I'm okay with who's watching <laughs> because you're being touched tonight by, by Travis. And before I let Travis... Um, play the saxophone because I know y'all if y'all ready to hear some saxophone just uh run some hearts across the screen and y'all make some noise if y'all ready to hear the saxophone Woo because we are ready to hear the saxophone tonight yeah. Travis but before we uh listen to you uh just play a song or, or two um what encouraging word someone out there tonight may be in a state of where you were mm -hmm. you know um they may be a musician they may be interested in entering purpose. What would you leave with them? What would you say to them to encourage them to step out on faith? What I'll say is, listen, you, for me, mm -hmm. I can talk personally for me. Yes. For me to think, if I didn't do nothing, right, mm -hmm. you will never know the outcome of it. So mm. it ain't hurt to try. You understand, as long as you have health, as long as you have strength, yes. you can make it happen. And first of all, you got to just believe in yourself. And you got to just do it. Just do it. Just, I, I can't stretch enough. Like, just do it. You'll feel better inside knowing you do it. Because right. you'll be worrying, saying, man, I didn't do it. I should have do it. It should have been done. But when it's done over it, the burden would just be so light yes. and you just would be like, you know what? It's done. It's done. It's done. And oh that's a God. good feeling. Just yes. for that feeling alone and that peace of mind, just to motivate you to keep on going. Wow. You know? Wow. That is powerful. Oh my God. So you've heard, you've heard from Travis, yeah. my saxophone yeah. guy. Oh my yeah. God. I know for a fact that if you get Travis once, you're never going to stop getting Travis. I'm telling you, I even had Travis to assist me with doing a tribute for my prophetess, and it was so amazing. He didn't play a love song. He actually played one of her songs, and he studied it, and she was blown away. Like, she was wowed. Yeah. He placed a smile on her face, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, he placed amazing. a smile on all of these people's faces for me, and trust me, if you want to place a smile on a loved one face, Travis is the man. But everyone, Skylar is here. But it's now we're going to shut down. 
Um, don't leave. Just stay right there. We're going to shut the lights off. We're going to get ready. We're going to hear some songs mm. from Travis Bodie. Travis B. Yeah. Travis B, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see how we can do this. Let me just warm up right here. Let me put on put on the lights on Bay Shirley. It's okay. What is wrong? What is wrong? Is your mom Mr. Booty? Me? We're gonna get another song and then Thank mm -hmm. you. 
birthday tonight. Yes! Someone's stopping a birthday tonight! Yes! What's that? Yes! Get it! It's the birthday girl! Right? The birthday girl! The birthday girl! Come on, birthday girl! Oh, wow. Come on, birthday girl! That is, yes! Yeah. <laughs> 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 let me, let me. Let me find one. Let me find Our makeup one. artist's birthday is birthday. today. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because thinking why. Okay. I sure they appreciate you. You know. Hope it, you don't want to get no chair for her. Oh. No chair. Okay, it's time. Let's start with birthday. That's why they love you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they love yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, everyone. Um, you can give me some lights. I know that you all enjoy Travis. Travis, my sister, she signed on, and you can shut off the lights for me. She signed on, and she said, "You got her crying again." Crying oh my again. God, my sister, oh, my, she's oh. watching. Um, everyone is saying pure talent. Wow. Hey, like yeah. all the comments and the hearts are coming yeah. through. Oh yeah. my God. Travis, we really appreciate hey, you. I thank you so much for coming thank here tonight. You. Oh my thank God, Bernadette, thank you. Thank you, thank, <laughs> you. thank you. If you enjoyed Travis tonight, send some love across the screen. Of course, I'm gonna post all of his contacts. If you need to get in contact with him, feel free to reach out to me. I can give you all of Travis's contacts and you can stay in touch with him. But he is the guy, he is the saxophone man. He is my saxophonist. <laughs> and I know that's <laughs> good. After tonight, he's going to be your saxophonist too. But this is to end the uh, Faith Talk in February. Thank you for joining me tonight. God bless you all. And I'll see you for another Faith Talk in another week. All right. God bless you. Gippy says he's hot. I miss it, man. That's all right. You can catch it on YouTube. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you for traveling.